Our church in Berea is a small church, some 40 people. Everything uh, begins uh, back in last June, June uh, 2015, when I had a discussion with uh, one of the elders uh, of uh, the church in Caterini, his name is Paris Papagiorgiou, um, in the missions conference, in a missions conference uh, a little outside uh, Caterini, in a place called uh, Leptocaria. Uh, it was the first time I was exposed to the refugee issue, problem. And uh, I was interested in getting, knowing a little bit more this, uh, this thing. And I, I said to Paris, I said to Paris, uh, let's do something. Let's do something on that. Uh, first time uh, I um, personally involved to that ministry was uh, on September 5th, in early September, when Sotiris, uh, uh, as far as I, I can recall, um, uh, visited together Idomeni. It was a mess, some three to 5,000 people there. But it was so uh, impressing, uh, difficult thing to, 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 to see people uh, in such a difficult and uh, a tragic situation, actually. Uh, that uh, continued the next few months. And um, I tried to uh, influence people from our church in Berea, young people and others, uh, to be a part of that as a church, not as individuals, as a church. And started uh, gathering clothes, money, food, uh, buying food, and uh, mostly water. Uh, and uh, we had some uh, travels there uh, the next few months. Lately, when the, uh, the problem in Indomeni uh, was so high, and it is some 13,000, 11,000 people now, uh, we started focusing on the problem in our area because people from Indomeni were transferred there in one small camp next to an Aliakmon, the Aliakmon River, uh, an uh, ideal place, but not for the refugees. And um, last uh, Saturday, I got a phone call from a friend of mine, a, a local lawyer in Verea, who is the coordinator of a special committee for the refugee people in that camp, special camp. He has some 400 people approximately there. And uh, called me and asked me to uh, host people some people from there, because they found out that uh, there's some, some Christians there. And uh, they tried to find people who can be hosted to uh, houses or special places. And uh, it was me that he called to, and uh, called. And uh, I said, okay, tomorrow morning in the, in the Sunday service, I'm gonna announce that uh, to the church. And after that, after the service, a couple uh, uh, approached me and said, okay, we'd like to host people in a special place. And it was a young couple uh, together with a Muslim friend, 23-year-old persons, all of them. And uh, the lady uh, is pregnant now in the third month. Of, and uh, it was so nice to get to know them, uh, sweet people. Uh, friendly people, and uh, I got moved, and all of us, we got to know them. And uh, our aim now is to uh, relieve people like them in our, not in Indomani, because the Indomani uh, problem is so, so huge for us. And, uh, but we would like to be with them in, in our place in Verea and uh, try to find uh, ways how to help, mostly uh, hosting people from there. Uh, another lady uh, 
called me in my home and said, okay, I would like to, to host these people. I, I told you that, okay, that happened already. Okay, maybe next couple or next family. Let's see. But we would like to be, uh, as uh, Sotiris said, to be uh, loving partners to these neighbors. It is our neighbors, and we would like to extend our, uh, our God's love to them. God bless you, and thank you for coming and listening to us.